CC Hooks has had a hot first half. Tony, 10 points, five for eight shooting, including four steals in. Wow, how about that? And she's just reading the defense so well, but just great concentration on seeing the ball in the basket. Which, you know, I'll tell you, Jake, and we talked about it throughout the course of the season, just how she has quick hands and how well she does getting those steals. She averages three and a half steals a game, almost four steals a game. And she's so quick, but she positions herself so well. Steals per game, ninth in the NCAA. Total steals, eighth in the NCAA. Tony, too, she sits seventh all time as a sophomore in career steals with 171. Two steals away from moving up to six. That's just it, yeah. It's hard to believe that she's only a sophomore. Ashlyn Brown was fouled before we went to break. She canned the first. Here comes the second for Ball State's leading scorer. She points it off the back of the rim. Ohio in command of Ball State, 37 to 21, under five minutes remaining in the second quarter. I will tell you, the other player that has really been making her minutes count is Deesh Beck. There's Beck again on the board and stick back. Got it. How about it? It's two rebounds and two possessions and a putback. Deesh Beck having a good first half. Two, six points, three of three shooting. Blake Smith got her pocket picked by Dominic Dosik. And the Athens native runs the floor for Ohio. Hooks down low, Deesh Beck wide open. Well, it's great court vision. Nice pass by CeCe Hooks. But the defense up and totally lost track of where Beck was. Beck wide open. 20 point advantage for Ohio on Ball State, their largest lead this afternoon. Ohio outscoring the Cardinals 13 to five in this second quarter. Ashlyn Brown, four points now, one of four shooting in this game. She's Ball State's leading scorer of the season. Power underneath. Dosik on the head fake. Hooks, shimmies, takes on traffic, out to Bauer, bullseye. That's the patience that Ohio needs. They've got their choice whether or not they're gonna attack the rim or kick it to the outside, and making that extra pass makes this team so difficult to defend. A 13 to one run for Ohio over the last four minutes. A miss by Smith of Ball State. Hooks to the cup. Banks it in. Now that's what happens when you rebound the ball. That allows you to be able to get out in your break much sooner, much quicker. And Hooks recognizes that the defense is not really back. Takes advantage. August daughter, you can count it. And the foul. And Deesh Beck with her third personal. And August daughter ending that long run that Ohio had. August daughter has been having a nice little game. Nine points, she's four or five shooting. But she's doing well with her shot selection and her spacing. See Erica Johnson come back into this game for Ohio's hooks. Yeah, August daughter, only nine points per game this season, but against the Mac, Tony, little over 12, five and a half rebounds a game on 60% shooting. Sinks the free throw and it's a 46-24 Ohio advantage on Ball State. Three minutes remaining in the second. Yeah, and Jake, you know, to your point, the fact that she's contributing so well, but as only a freshman, she, you just see her confidence growing as the season is going along. Dosik in the lane. Nice defense by Ball State. Yeah, it's good recovery there. Penny cross court to Howard Bass. Down low feed. Nice kiss off the glass. Blake Smith. She did well getting to the, her head to the rim. The defense had overcommitted. Miles lead, 20, 46, 26. 215 remaining until halftime. Extra pass to Van Buell. Rounded out. And the rebound out of bounds and off Ohio last. That's a good shot by Van Buell and Ohio trying to get the inside position. They weren't able to secure the ball how it came off the rim. Ohio still eight for 18 from outside the long line, Tony, 44%. Yeah, just great concentration on this shot today. I would think that Coach Bob Bolden had a 
a little bit of a discussion with them about staying focused on seeing the ball in the basket after Miami's game. Blake Smith. And that's great defense by Bam Buell. Dosik up top, lets it fly. It's short. And Howard Bass on the rebound. And the Cardinals turn it over for a 16th time this afternoon. Tony, they allow about 18 per game. Yeah. Well, Telma gets herself down too deep. The defense cut her off, and there was some indecision there as to who she was going to kick it out to because her teammates on the perimeter did not give her an out. Ohio looking to add on to their 16 points off turnovers already this afternoon. I always put that responsibility on the wing because if you've got some dribble penetration and you get in deep, the wing has to make sure that they create an angle, and that's just a great job there. Johnson, what does she do? She draws the defense, and therefore you've got you've got Jessing on that back side that was wide open because she created space. Leah well, Howard Bass bagging a three. It's her first three-point make this afternoon. She leads the way for Ball State this season with 31 three-point makes this season. 40 seconds remaining until half. 48-29, Ohio out in front of Ball State. Bobcats swinging it around the long line. Yeah, Ball State in his own defense right now. Johnson from up top. Basketball picked up by Penny, and no shot clock for the Cardinals at the tail end of the second quarter. Ohio 48, Ball State 29. Katie Helgeson, the sophomore, now going to work for Ball State. Down the lane, August daughter. Kick out to Howard Bass. She was deflected. Now that'll be the end of the first half. Outstanding offensively for the Cats and defensively too. 48-29 and through the end of the first two quarters. Convo 50 celebration two going to, going to the Bobcats way. We'll be right back in the combo. 